what's up everybody, Grief is back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. Today's gate is the Colossal Mechanical Conch. If you're new here, make sure you stay to the end of the video because we pull packs at the end of each and every video and you're not going to want to miss what kind of awesome monsters we pull today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the scenario and I'll see you guys again when we're in the store. The Colossal Mechanical Conch On this planet, there grew a great tree they all called the Natura Sacred Tree. Life is born from this magnificent tree, and in death, all return to it. This cycle of life, which could be called reincarnation, has been carried out on this planet for eternity. There came a time, however, when a war was waged over the Natura Sacred Tree, the sacred source of life. However, the Shadow forces relentlessly attack the Sacred Tree as if on a mission. In the face of this threat, the protectors of the Sacred Tree rose and fought back against the Shadows. The battle reached a fever pitch with the fate of the entire world riding on it. The A-Forces created a protective barrier for the Sacred Tree, and cooperating with the forces that were already in battle, they seemed to succeed in pushing back the Shadal threat. However, disaster struck when somehow, someone managed to destroy the barrier. El Shadal Winda had pushed her way through to the Sacred Tree. With her divine powers, she broke the seal of the Sacred Tree, and the great tree tore itself from the earth and began to rise up towards the sky. Hidden within its roots underneath was an enormous life system. This system was the very crux of the planet's life cycle. As if returning to the system, the cores it had once lost began to float toward it and were then sucked in. Using the recovered cores as their source of power, the Clifford's weapons hidden within the system began to activate. As each Clifford sprang to life, they flew out into the distance, all across the land. Only time would tell what the Clifford's were after.
When the Natura sacred tree was uprooted, the cliff forts were activated. These machines were a group of autonomous mobile weapons created to maintain equilibrium within the life system of the planet. When the cliff forts sense an abnormality in the life system, they will mobilize to eliminate whatever it is. This time, what they sensed was the Shadal as a threat to be removed. The Shadal forces were battered relentlessly and brought to the brink of destruction by the cliff forts. However, things took a sudden turn for the worse when they attempted to restrain and absorb El Shadal Winda. The divine powers within her ended up freeing the vanguards of destruction that were slumbering within the cliff forts, sealed until this moment. Contact with El Shadal Winda also affected the cliff forts. Her power, a force equal to that of God itself, was never meant to exist. Once the Cliff Ward sensed that, they realized that there was a fatal error in their life system. They decided to eradicate all life on the planet in order to purify it, essentially resetting it. Will life prevail, or is this the world destined for ruination? This is but just one part of the star's unding battle. You'll surely come to know the fate of this planet in another story. Alright everybody, we're back. We knocked out that gate. We unlocked the Life Force Control System secret pack for knocking it out. We hit through the scenario. What'd you all think about the cliff forts? A little rough in the beginning, still trying to figure some things out, but I figured around the midway point somewhere I started getting the hang of it, and as you guys can see in the end, I absolutely destroyed him at the end. I'm pretty proud of that duel, but without any further ado guys, let's open up a pack. Let's see what kind of awesome cards we're going to get today. Ooh, this one's glowing. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. And we got... Hmm. It was glowing, but let's see what we got. Duncan Shoe Shipyard Seaside Support Spot. Probably never use that card because it's so hard to say. Infernity General. That's sick looking. Gladiator Beast Retieri. Incarnated Machine Angel. Requilate. Uh, Eye of the Void. Eye of the Void. Clive's End. And that's it for that pack. Let's go ahead and open up one more pack. Let's say it. That one kind of got my hopes up a little bit. We're going to open up at least one more pack out of it. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. We, it's glowing again. We got the lighting. We got the guy shining. Oh, here we go. I'm excited. What do you think we're all going to get? What are you all thinking? Ooh, that's a big one at the end. What is it? Ho, oh, ho. That's one of the ultra rares from this deck. That's an awesome pull. Let's look at the other ones. See what we got. We got the Black Wing, Damascus, the Polar Knight. Trimid Fortress, we got the Doom Dog, Octhros, Limit Control, Infernoid, Harmadic, Laser Clip, Void Launch, and Infernoid, Ununchu. That is an amazing card. That's sick. That's awesome. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and consider subscribing. It's free and it's the best way to help support the channel. Until next time, guys, this has been Grief is saying, later. Yeah.